Hi guys, I am rather knackered. I've just cycled all the way back from uh, Cat's Custom Trikes. Uh, I left, I don't know, it must have been around about seven ish. Um, it hasn't taken me two hours to get home. I've uh, done a couple of stops in town. Um, one of which to get grub, and for some reason I was about to turn the light off. I'm not going to get very far if I turn the light off, am I? Right. So, I've got myself a USA fried chicken meal. And uh, there's actually a couple of reasons for that. One, <coughs> I can't be asked to cook. Two, until tomorrow, I've got nothing to cook anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I've decided on. I've got a backpack full of goodies and a bag full of goodies in the cubby hole downstairs because I dropped those off. Um, and then scooted off to go to Sainsbury's because I wanted a sweet treat. Because uh, my sugars are probably going to be a little bit low now. As I haven't eaten since this morning. Which uh, ain't really a good thing. I do hate it when they do this though. This is why I put the fries on a plate. Right, actually I'm going to be English. I'm going to say chips. <laughs> do they bury all your chicken? In the box under all the um, fries. Damn it, I've done it again. Chips! <laughs> I'm blaming Americans. I've picked up a lot of American terms and phrases in all my years of being uh, online. So I'm blaming you, Americans. It's not a bad thing. But still, I've got to blame someone. <laughs> Wondered how long that would be before I hear a siren on a Friday night. Took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Right, while I'm in here, top up the boss man's dish and then he won't bug me later for it to be topped up. He's not going to bug me yet anyway because he's going to want my chicken. Right, what I had planned to do was um, actually dismantle that microwave but uh, as it's going to be closer to 10 o'clock by the time you know I've eaten and whatnot I don't really want to go banging around in the outside cupboard so that'll wait till tomorrow but I will go down and get those uh whee, lost my balance for some reason I will go downstairs and just grab um, that backpack and carrier bag. I've got a carrier bag full of bits there that I'll go through as well. Decided to treat myself and invest. And I'll explain that after I've eaten. Ta ta. We'll see you in a few. Okay, that's my tummy stuffed. And uh, yes, you are looking at two pairs of bike lights. This is the pair I've currently got on the Claude downstairs, my main bike. This is a pair I purchased today from Lidl's again, so they're, they're made by the same company. I got these ones last year. <clears throat> um, so these are different design but they go on the exact same brackets. The brackets are identical, which is good because I don't have to change the brackets. I can use the ones I've already got. I'm going to put these on the Claude. <clears throat> in fact I already had them on the Claude, I've um, taken them off so I can show you. Um, this is a rechargeable one, but this has actually got a lithium iron battery in it. And you lift this little rubber cover up, somehow. <laughs> I'm not sure how, it's a little thing there I suppose, it'll come up eventually if I poked and prodded it enough. There's a little USB cable, so I suppose you could charge it from a laptop, a computer, or 
one of those little mains plugs that you plug in that's got a USB socket in the top. Um, but this is quite bright. See? That is bright. And you can dim it down, dim it down again, and then off. So it's got two different dip settings on this one. Um, it came pre-charged, so they're ready to use. The LED is actually up the top there, not at the back of the lens. Um, which I've never seen done before. If you look at this white one, you might just be able to make out the LED at the back there. But with this one, it's actually up there on the roof. You can just about see it up there. So, yeah, this one's not rechargeable. Well, until I put a couple of rechargeable batteries in it, it just came with standard AAA batteries. Are they the same length? And they are exactly the same light. They've actually just changed the lid cover, basically, in the shape of the rubber for the switch. That's all they've changed, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain that if I slide the top covers off, and you look at the insides, no, nope, you wouldn't know the difference, look. They're identical. And I bet you, or what you like, yeah. <laughs> That's all they've changed. The rest of the light is the same. They've just changed the um, battery cover. That is it. Even the button's exactly the same. See? <laughs> Cheats. Well, I suppose that saves them money in a way because they haven't got to change the brackets. Or much of anything, really. They've just put, um, given or put the rear light with a different front light. Because I know they still make these. It's just, as it's a Lidl's brand, you just got to wait till it comes round. <clears throat> there, I need to trim my moustache. Right, anyway, I'm going to put those aside. I'm just going to sit you here for the moment. I've got to... You might get knocked, but that's because Nemo is uh, off camera that side. <laughs> As I've been such a hard worker with all these bikes lately, I thought I'd treat myself. So, I didn't get just one, I got two of these. Lego Superheroes Mighty Micros. Now, £9 seems a bit steep to me for these, but we'll see when I build them. But I got those, and I got not one. Not two, not three, but four of these, which was a um, an Easter special edition, if you like, from Lego. It's a ch figure in a chicken suit. <laughs> um, they were, before Easter, retailing at four pounds each. When I went into Sainsbury's, I found them in the Lego aisle and they've reduced them to one pound each. Now I've already looked on eBay and people are selling these at ridiculous amounts of money now. Um, so that's basically what I've done and I'm going to go and uh, see if I can get a few more in the morning because uh, it doesn't seem like they're selling very well at the minute. So I might as well snap up what I can probably keep one for myself and the rest I could probably sell easily at two pounds fifty each on eBay. I could eat, actually I could get three pounds and I ain't kidding. I've seen people bidding on six of these and the bid stood at twelve pounds something. Twice what I could go into Sainsbury's right now and buy six for. And that is what someone's bidding on them. That isn't a bar now price. So I, I couldn't believe it when I was looking at eBay earlier. So yeah, if there's any more left tomorrow, I might get another two, three, another four. I don't know. I've got a 
pocket full of a lot of change, so I might just get rid of as much change as I can. Because it's weighting my pocket down. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, if you're wondering what I'd do with the cash, I'd buy more Lego. That will go into my PayPal, obviously, and uh, I'd use that to turn it into uh, perhaps a Lego set that I do want. So, yeah. When I was in the USA Chicken earlier, I got these out of the charity box, or a pound each. Obviously I can't sit and pig these because I'm diabetic, but I can have the odd couple now and again, which is all I do with these. So they can sit on my shelf beside me. I am actually behaving because um, I've got a packet of minstrels here. Usually I can stuff the whole packet and then I'd be paying the price later, but uh, I'm learning because there's still quite a large quantity in this bag. I haven't scoffed them all. That is uh, unlike me. Anyway, um, so I've got these to build later. Uh, I'm going to have to pick you up for this bit. Yeah. I'm trying my best not to scratch. My psoriasis right on my under there is uh, <laughs> itching like a mother effer at the minute. And that is driving me up the wall. Anyway. <laughs> uh, whoops. That didn't sound too good, whatever that was. <laughs> that made a dink sound, and I'm not sure I've got anything in there that goes dink. I've got a tin of food for Captain Nemo over there. This is Cat's Custom Trikes backpack. There is another name she gave it, and I can't remember it. I mean, anyway. A knife sharpening block. That will be uh, very useful. So, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, that, I'll put this on the table. And I'll show you that in a minute. There's nothing really that interesting. What the hell is that doing caught up? A bit of microwave. Right. What else have we got? Ugh. Probably got some creepy crawdies in here. You got a seat post, a bit rusty, but again, I'll get me out of a pickle if I need one. Mind you, I can always paint them, I suppose. You know, I'm not scared of using a paintbrush, so. Yeah. One, well, not one huge extension lead. Ah. I may have to sort that out here. I'm not using it. With all this tape on there because I don't know what's underneath it, do I? Um, oh, I see what her late stepdad has done. You see that? <laughs> Instead of putting or cutting the wires properly, he's um, cut too much of the outer insulation back and then just taped it over. <laughs> That's still usable, but that's not my usable. I'll, uh, I'll do that properly. And then I got this one. This is why the backpack was weighing so much. <coughs> that one I'll probably um, take it off of that wooden block because I don't think I'll need that. But this plug is interesting. It's got a switch on it. Look. I've got an on-off switch. Uh, it's not a regulation plug by today's standards. It's quite an old one. It's an MK brand. It looks like you wire it up just the same way you would any conventional plug, but the only reason it's not um, a compliant plug by today's standards is because it hasn't got the insulated pins. You can still use it. There's nothing to stop you using it, but you wouldn't find a modern appliance with that on it. Right. Oh, I see what went ding. There's a couple of metal bars in here. Where do I put that cat food? Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know how to get into it. Oh, well, I know it's in there. I can get into that later. Ooh. Now, one of my challenges when I get to it is not only to build 
Cat's Custom Trikes, a um, bicycle converted to a trike. I have got I've got several ideas going through my head. It's just sort of uh, being able to implement those ideas. Ooh, excuse me, those ideas. But uh, she's also challenged me to make an electric one. So. I've got all the parts from that old electric scooter in this bag. Let's see. I think there's at least possibly two of these lights. I don't know, I can't remember. The gauges. I'm not sure I can use the oh well actually I might be able to make use of the gauges. Here's all the wiring loom. Let's see, there's the other lamp. motor. Yes. So we've got in the ah that's the bell that before we need the control module. Um I don't think I'm gonna worry about the ignition switch. Don't know where the keys are either. <laughs> uh got the horn, got the chain, got the regulator. Battery, battery, and motor positive. Um. <laughs> um. I would presume those go, come from the battery and that goes out to the motor. Just presuming. I'm not sure. That's because those two are together. That's the only reason I made that. And a red and black is usually live and neutral, but it doesn't. bunch of weird symbols on there but <laughs> there's a horn a couple of lights hang on a minute I think we're missing a couple of lights not important ones though but they do seem to be missing <laughs> What were the turn signals on the scooter? They may have got hooked up. Oh, they may have got left over at Cat's Custom Trucks. I don't know. Mm. Nope. They aren't in here, so they may have done. Oh, well. I only need the main headlight and tail light. I don't need much else. Right. Oh, I've just got the tin to look at, um, look at now. I haven't had a good look in this tin. Had a quick glimpse, but it's a bunch of reflectors and an old tin. Right, what have we got? It's got brand on this one. It might have if I clean it a bit. A bit dusty from sitting in the shed. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to have any. Got lots of numbers. Some of them have a brand name on them. Well, this has just got a bunch of uh, numbers. Oh, hang on. Tal Tormu, tell me. Something like that. Not one I've heard of. Oh, we've got a pair of these. Nice large ones. I could actually put those on her racer because that's a matching pair. We've got this one. It's an oldie. It's not an oldie. Again, I can't see. No brand name, why not just a bunch of uh, numbers? That's an old Fairy Lights brand, commonly used on the old style bikes. It's lost its bolt, but I can soon replace that. Oh, hello, we've got a light bracket and a couple of mudguard brackets. Whoops, sorry, I just caught the camera. 
Right. Just uh, clean all that crap down. Alright. What have we got planned for tomorrow? We've got two girls' bikes. I just want to clean down and check up. Take photos of those and uh, get those on. You know, spam emails are so obvious. Look at this. Where is it? Look at this spell Argos. Capital R right in the middle. Now, I know Argos, the actual company, wouldn't make such a mistake. So I know for a fact that's a scam email. Your email address is selected to complete complete <laughs> for B, B hashtag 500 to spend at Arcos <laughs> your email address is selected to complete <laughs> and it even says it further down compete make sure you compete to win enter now the contest will close soon Yeah, and I put in all my personal details, and you nick them. What do you think I am? Stupid? Spam? What time I got to click on it like that first, and then spam it? Yep. No replies from for my bike on Gumtree. Meanies. Don't like them anymore. I won't even know questions regarding it on um, eBay either. Did I pause? Oh, Bill did quite a short video. Hang on. I managed to um, spit all over the screen. <laughs> well, I presume it was my spit. I haven't been near anything else. Right, do I need to do anything else? You know, one thing I don't do these days is check my Hotmail account much. I used to religiously check it every day. Bobby Moore fun, Fund. Junk. Twitter. Song Pop. John McDonald. Our fight for fairness must... Fairness, rather, must continue. Junk. <laughs> and the rest. Delete. Anywhere else I need to check? Not that I can think of. I've got a Gmail account, but there's nothing ever in there, so I don't bother checking that one. <laughs> Besides, I only really have Gmail for um, YouTube, because, you know, you have one Google account, you've got them all. <laughs> That's how Google works. <clears throat> uh, this video will be uploaded to YouTube not long after this. I'm actually going to aim between now and sort of midnight for my videos because that's when I'm relaxing at home, chilling in front of this PC. I think I need to play catch up because uh, I'm sort of recording the videos and then putting them up the same day instead of the day before at the minute, which is what I normally uh, do. Record one day, upload them the next. But uh, I've sort of gotten behind a little, which that's not a bad thing. Um, yeah. So tomorrow's task, sir, <laughs> I'm going to um, sort this lot out. I used to have an extension lead as probably as long as this black one. But in yellow, and I made it up myself, I can't remember, I think I dismantled an old um, one of them old yellow cables, extension cables that are used on building sites and other work sites, but uh, one of mum's exes pinched it when they broke up, which pissed me off. 
because that was a bloody long extension lead and bloody useful. Um. I don't even think my mum would need one that long over at hers. <laughs> but uh, I can make use of the cable one way or another. Ow, that's my foot. <laughs> there is a lot of weight in this cable alone. Hey, look at this. If I can get hold of it. Does that look like a face to you? No. Yeah. Two eyes, there's a little line there that could be the nose. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. Mouth, it's like a robot face. Take me to your leader. Sorry, I've got one of them moves on tonight. I've been full of puns, stupid puns, all day at Cat's Custom Trikes. I think I might have been getting on the nerves with them because some of them really were bad. <laughs> oh dear. Now, if I get a chance, I can work on this one as well and see if we can get that one up and running and ready. You see, when I got that one from the dump yesterday, I was going to keep that one for myself as my um, second go-to bike, if you like. But uh, when um, I got that other one off of Biggles the same day, I thought, nah. <laughs> I've got to have another Claude. <laughs> so, uh, another Claude it is. It'd be nice if I could unseize those forks just temporarily, but changing forks isn't hard. So I can actually, you know, get it into a rideable condition as it is. I just won't have no front suspension. Because um, I think they have well and truly. I think yeah. Looking at the rust in there, I don't think I've got a hope in hell's chance. It w looking at that rust, I don't even think it would be worth taking them apart and servicing them. Can be done, and I think it can be done with the SR Suntour forks. You can dismantle them, but one I don't have the tools anyway because I need a really long hexagon key. To go from there down to about there somewhere in the fork, which I don't have. And uh, two, like I said, judging by that rust, they'll be jerky when they go up and down anyway, so they're not, that's not worth it. Uh, the amount of bikes I see down the recycle centre and I pick up, I'm sure I can scavenge some from somewhere at some point. I uh, might even actually scavenge some before I actually get to building this one. Because uh, it's not just going to be one I'm going to stick together to make a working bike. Um, you know, I'm not going to put any of my cheapy grip shifts on it because I'll just change them anyway. So I'm going to wait. But uh, I really do like that frame. What can you see out there, Nemo? Oh, something's got his attention. He always does that, but when I look out the window, I can never see anything, so... <laughs> Hell, is that the time already? Ooh. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use these rims. They came off a bike I broke for parts. Nice set of rims. That's why I actually like to uh, pick up bikes with a tatty old frame at times, because more often than not, when I've got a tatty scratched up, beaten up frame, you do actually find some um, decent spares on them. You know, that's why I actually sell my bikes um, pretty cheap, because I don't... I do use a brand new cable if I have to, but uh, a lot of the time I've fixed them with... Um, used parts so I don't see it right to charge like good money for something I've uh, only used second hand parts on or reconditioned parts on because I do give them a clean and whatnot and they do work so technically reconditioned parts <laughs> if we're gonna split hairs um, 
I may have V brakes for this because there's a kid's bike downstairs. I think I'm just going to brake for parts. Um, mostly because I can't be bothered with it. <laughs> you know, I've had um, some nice luck down there lately. Nothing super duper decent. Well, I suppose you could count the um, concept through here as a decent score. In a sense that it looks nice, <laughs> more than anything. Uh, I need to get some tyres together because I know Cat's Custom Trikes is going to need some. But that is one thing I am really short on at the minute. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. So, uh, it's so tempting just to go to this and pinch a few parts off of this to put on the Claude in the bedroom, but uh, I just, as, as tempting as it is, it's just going to mean more work for me to fix this up. <clears throat> I mean, well, like I said, my motto is um, don't fix what ain't broken, but actually looking at these, if I just move out of the light, they are rather rough, so these outers I'm going to have to replace, which means I might very well have to replace some cables which isn't a problem um, and I can straighten these kinks out here anyway although they won't be a problem because I'm not going to catch in there but it'll still look better if I get the kinks out of them and that brake cable considering it's the shiniest cable on here I'm guessing that's a relatively new cable because if it was the same age as these two it would show surface rustle. It hasn't rotted through, it is just tarnishing on the surface, so it don't look good, but it still works. And that's what I do. So long as it works, that's all I care about. Might. Yeah, and get away with the brake. So it's just the gear, um, these two. These are for the gears. These two, so they're the two I've got to replace. And then them fucking old horrible ones as well that I completely hate. And if I'm going to replace those ones, I'm going to replace them here in the middle and down the bottom there as well. Ah, and I might be able to reuse the cable. If I can actually get this end cap off. Um, and, you know, pull all the cable off without the end frame, then I wouldn't have to replace the gear cables. Uh, I suppose I could reattach the front brake because I haven't got to drop the wheel out. Unless I decide to change the front tyre. I well, know I've put the tyre in. I think I put the tyre in backwards. I don't know. <clears throat> I think this, why have I got this feeling that the seat post is going to be the bitch to find? <coughs> Pardon me. You know, I was trying to be polite over cats custom trikes and not let one go. <laughs> <clears throat> they don't smell though. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think it's going to take me that long to do this. I've got to find an inner tube. Uh, if I've got to replace a gear cable or something, that's not an issue. Reconnect that. You see, ball tires are worse than cracked tires. <laughs> cracked, personally, I've never had a problem with cracked, but they don't look nice. Um, if they're too badly cracked, then I tend not to use them. I know one of the bikes. Cat's Custom Trikes bought off me does need at least one new tyre, I believe. Um, but yeah, this one's all cracked. Look, I can't. That's one I'd use as a spare for one of my own bikes, but not on a bike I'd sell. And the tread isn't. It ain't the worst, <laughs> but it ain't the best either. This isn't the one that's got the bald patch on it, is it? Um, I've got a boys bike over at Mum's I need a back tar for because it's covered in emulsion paint. 
Again, it doesn't bother me, but when you're selling them to, or trying to sell them to potential customers, you can't really uh, have that. I don't think a bit of paint would have bothered uh, Cat's Custom Trace either. Both of us are quite easy going like that, you know, as long as it bloody works, we don't care what it looks like. <laughs> um, but not everyone um, is like that, so I do need to, I'm going to need to find at least, because I think I can get away with that front tar, to be honest. I'm not going to get away with the back one. No. Oh, <laughs> definitely not. Not with that crack going down the middle. Yeah, that's, that's not a good crack. A little bit of cracking on the side wall, as long as it's not deep or, um, you know, long and the inner tube isn't popping out the sides and then they're perfectly fine. But uh, you'll be more prone to punctures if this part of the tyre has got cracks on, like one of those there. But again, you know, don't bother me. Why should it bother me? I've got a bloody um, box full of inner tubes. <laughs> Inner tubes, I can give um, Cat's Custom Trokes inner tubes galore, I've got loads of them. I suppose I could have even more if I sit and fix um, some of these punctures. Which I might actually do tomorrow if I'm feeling up to it, even though that's probably my most hated job. I do. I, it's one of my, I really do hate... I hate it so much I can't even get the words out. <laughs> At least this one's got a non-rusty chain on it. That's a good thing. I know the bottom bracket bearings are a little loose. Might get away with just uh, giving them a, just, uh, a little adjustment on the cup there. If I can get it to turn. I'm going to be pissed off if I can't get it to turn. Because I have a habit of seizing. But uh, Going by the condition of it, I doubt it's been ridden much with um, loose bearings. So... Wheel bearings are fine, wheels just need a polish up. Frame, again, just a clean up, it's just full of dust and muck. Can't do anything with the brake noodles, I haven't got any clean ones. Did I bring that one home from Mum's? Actually, I think I did. But, uh, yeah, I'll just leave those on there. I think I've got a slow puncture in the back of my um, full suspension bike as well. Uh, I may end up selling it, but not in the near future, I don't think, because I am enjoying riding that one at the minute. I took that to Sainsbury's this morning and noticed the um, back tyre was a little low, so I stopped off at the garage's air compressor and put some air in. There is a sign on that that says not to use it on bicycles, but I don't understand why, because if you set it to the right tyre pressure, you're not going to have any problems. I put 38 in my tyres, reason being it's not too hard and it's not too soft. Oh, I needed that. It's actually a little bit flat because it's a bottle I opened last night. I've actually noticed that with this cheaper stuff, it doesn't stay fizz fizzed for as long when you open it. Doesn't taste too bad for dark though to be honest. Now, some dark coats taste like complete shit but that's not too bad. Anyway, I think the video's gone on long enough. Is it my screen or does this um, lens need a clean? I'm going to give this lens a good clean. Wow. You can see all the grooves on the end of my finger and the dirt, look. Eee. It's not a bad camera, considering it's not a high-def camera. I don't think. Nope, there's... No, there's... I can't see anything on this that actually indicates it's a high-def camera, but... You know, I actually thought that was, um... <laughs> I thought that was that's uh, pretty clear, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to disappear. 
scratch the shit out of my psoriasis because it's doing my head in. Uh. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to chill out at the PC. And I think instead of sit at my usual Lego desk, because these Lego sets are so small, I'm going to sit here and do it. I might put some music on. No. Pardon me, I might watch the end of um, Bill's T Max actually. Big ginger hair has just fallen down where my computer mouse is. I bet that fluffed off of um, Nemo who's uh, down on the floor. <clears throat> and actually, before I go, do you know what's really weird? Even though I got a USA fried chicken, he didn't come hassling me for chicken. He weren't interested tonight. It's not often he's like that. Not when I've got chicken. But, uh, no, not tonight. He wasn't interested for some reason. Maybe he just didn't fancy chicken tonight. It's rare. He has done it before, but that's rare. Normally he, uh... <laughs> Normally he, um... Likes his chicken. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to, uh... Comment, like, and subscribe. And yes, I did have to think about that each time I said each part of it. No, no, my mind's just not with it at the minute. <clears throat> I think Nemo wants to say goodbye as well. So, uh, we'll both talk to you again soon. Bye.